your spam stumbles across this Torva Titan with an Elysian spirit shield. This guy's got 150 mil risk. The Torva guy says he's risking 150 million GP, unschooled. If pure spam can get extremely lucky, we'll find out if this is true. I don't know if you can hit that or not, maybe. Oh my god, what? We actually killed him with a 42 surge? And the question is, was he actually risking 100 mil? <laughs> like I had Ellie and full Torva. Not quite 150, but you know what? I'll take the 84. An extremely interesting setup with the Lightbearer Ring and Imbued Berserker Ring. You had 6,000 rune knives. Welcome to RuneScape Chronicles. We don't often feature the dinosaur dying on this channel. However, he does die a lot. I'm but he's not quite gone extinct, despite what people are saying about him. He's unfrozen here. We wait. We wait. We refreeze him here. That's beautiful. Beautifully perfect. Into a huge bolt. Into a huge Ancient God Sword spec. He's in the bin. And I am literally erect. Huh? That's our loot PK'd back. Pretty much, right? Bo is back on his main Iron Man Lost Focus and finishes off Ulm in expert fashion. Yo? And he gets the Ulmlet pet. Yo! That's a nice one you can show off. Well done. Crazy Toes has a very generous friend coaching him to defeat Zuck, but things don't look good. He's out of supplies and wasn't able to kill the Ranger in time. All the coaching in the world won't help when all he has now is 29 hit points remaining. So far, he's extremely lucky. Now he's in range to attack the ranger again. And this time he finishes it off. He would go on to defeat Zuck. That's epic. That's surely. Let's go. And extremely lucky. Speaking of Zuck, did you know that Crumb has been making statues of this fiery beast? And he's actually selling them to the RuneScape community. Alongside making RuneScape videos, Crumb has devoted himself to making amazing art for the RuneScape community to enjoy. He makes statues for King Black Dragon, Vorkath, Jad, and of course the main event, Tizkal Zuck. This one is impressive. These are super smooth, sturdy resin casts painted using a combination of airbrushing and handbrushing. Any of these would look great on your desk and will breathe a lot of life into your room or office. Crumb's store has five stars and he always runs out of stock before Christmas, in fact. So if you're interested in these, it's best not to wait. We are grateful to Crumb for supporting the RuneScape Chronicles project by sponsoring this video. If you want to support RuneScape Chronicles, then this is the best way to do it using our referral link in the description below. You can get 20% off with our discount code RSC for the next seven days. Thank you for supporting the RuneScape Chronicles team and Crumb. Sir Goldman has gone to the wilderness with a budget mystic set, and he hops into this rev hunter that is wearing a Santa hat. Maybe the guy has gone out to do some Christmas caroling because not only does he have a Santa hat, but he also is not using any protection prayers. Goldman is only hoping that he's not using the protect item prayer either. A beautiful dragon dagger spec for the KO and it looks like he wasn't protecting his items. A good PK for Goldman, maybe now he can afford some dragon boots. Hope 4 loses all the bones on the ground with a single misclick. I just TP'd! Skill Specs attempts to make history with the most epic escape ever. He didn't kill me, pussy. Dead. What do I have the feeling that I'm gonna die here? Greg2007 is on Fresh Start World. His gear and stats are insane already. He's got Arams, Carols, and he even has the Heavy Ballista, which the price is unknown at this point because there are so few in the game. Oh my god, whip! But on top of everything else he has, he's just got the whip as well. Yo, chat, it's time we turn up, my brothers, you know what I mean? Ha! Who? Ha! Who? Ha! Who? Ha! Sissy Jones is doing Cal Fight Queen when this happens. Give me kick you head. Or pet. All right. Oh! Oh! There's no fucking way that just happened! Monamu is on her one life hardcore Iron Man. She is a very gullible lady. Can you recreate? I've tried to. Oh! 
Yep, someone guzzles a rock cake under her so it looks like she is dying on her hardcore. You are not funny. Bye, idiot. Bye, idiot. <laughs> Sit the f down, stupid ass. Sweet justice. Nice KO. Nah, he's gone. Fire. <laughs> Shit. Bellis employs mithril seeds like a pro. Oh, nice. Oh my god. He f***ed it. And the seeding strategy earns him nearly 12 mil. Nice work. Nish for the win is minding his own business when a Darok noob interrupts him. Oh, whoa. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I almost died though. Dino has established a new meta in Deep Wilderness PK. Nobody expects a melee hit just two seconds after a crossbow fire. Huge. Good fight, man. That's why I bring the Hunter's crossbow. 69 mil. Have you ever seen Tasty Life's video about how to get MVP in Theater of Blood every time? Jegex actually assigns a Most Valuable Player award after each completion of a raid and it gives you a bonus loot chance. It's only calculated based on how much damage you deal. So you can get your raiding team killed, pissed off, or just constantly make them take enough damage so that they spend all their time eating instead of doing DPS to the bosses. Jagex made a system that pits you against your teammates. So in fact, the bosses of the rooms are not your enemies. The people in the raid with you are. Sure, you could do your best to collaborate and support each other in completing the raids, benefiting collectively as you all reap massive rewards from the most challenging content in the game. Or you could embrace your selfish true nature by pursuing more loot chance than what other noobs could only dream of achieving. Meanwhile, rightfully earning your esteemed title as most valuable player on the beautiful plaque at the end of the raid. Well, Hemis and friends have taken that concept to a whole new level. Eight people putting a light bearer ring into the prize pool. The MVP of the raid takes all. This is high risk tombs of a masket, and it may get a little out of hand. Hemis starts us off by emptying the potions of anyone who was dumb enough to drop them. I'm doing mega rat sh already. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> it's also worth noting that during the raid, Noob Type gets the fastest Kefri pillar ever. <laughs> Holy. That's a world record. Then Cito intentionally pops the jugs early so people can't hide behind the rocks. What jugs, bro? There ain't no jugs. I'm brain dead. I'm actually brain dead. That hurts. Holy nice. shit. But he's one tick too late to use the Sun Karis and dies. For this part, everyone has to clump together so they don't die from these incoming orbs. But people would rather die instead of helping the other members in the raid, so they all die. Except Cedo. We land! We land! Let's <laughs> While wearing a phoenix necklace, he guzzles a rock cake right before healing to null the damage from the orbs. That was epic. He goes on to wipe that raid, but eventually they do another raid and Saxer Pillar becomes the MVP. He successfully griefed his teammates enough and did enough damage to earn all eight light bearers. Nice job. Not too long after, Noob Type takes the MVP in another raid. Now, this raid had 30 deaths in it, but they get a purple anyway. Do pet, fifth pet, fifth pet. I'll laugh if it's a shadow. Cheesy stiff. No! Oh, no! No! Oh my god! Holy hell. <laughs> no monkey gets a free for all Tumikin Shadow. That is bank loot. Elixo is just about to finish this Sepulchre run. Run! No! When he gets nerdlogged. No monkey is on two accounts at once in a level 500 invocation raid. He found out a way to do the Baba boss without taking any damage on either account. <laughs> and just today, Dino is back, but this time he's taken out all the stops to get the maximum damage in the game, using full Ancestral and full Torva. He is risking absolute bank. I scratched him, I scratched him, I scratched him. Smited! Smited! Smite! Not only does he kill the guy for the bulwark, but he gets the crossbow as well. 
but he carries a great deal of risk. And there are stream snipers that have been ragging his live streams, and especially now, they're hunting him down to take his max gear from him. <laughs> Please tell me someone just saw that. Did you see that? There was a stream sniper in the corner of the screen, kitted out in max gear as well. But the sniper was just a second too late because Dino was already in combat with the Rev Hunter. Dino doesn't get that kill, but he comes back to the Rev Caves when he gets hit by the same guy. He makes the escape this time, but then gets hit yet again. And the other guy, the, the, oh, I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. The guy has chased me around like a fucking hungry dog. Why don't you just fight him? He has a 12 brew, three way ancient god sword, stream sniping crystal salve. I honestly think I would rather put my c in a jar of jam and then suck it. And again. Why are you running? I don't fight piss weak stream snipers. Um, I just don't. Now Dino has down geared into just a measly void set, going against this guy with max gear. It doesn't look good because he's nearly out of supplies and needs to go for the escape. We now ancient god sword him, so he either has to run away or give me the 25. Don't know if he has got a chance then. He's giga shaking right now. He could have just—he just got giggered. He just got absolutely giggered. Thank you very much for Max, you disgusting, piss weak little sniper. Get off my c you dumb, irrelevant rodent. Thank you for everything. With a gear disadvantage, Dino earns himself half a billion GP from the stream sniper. Sweet justice. And that's a wrap for today, and a reminder that for the next 7 days, crumb statues are 20% off for the supporters that use the referral link down below. And getting yourself some amazing statues is the absolute best way to support the RuneScape Chronicles project. A sincere thank you to the people that decide to do that, and thank you for watching. See you very soon.